Hey, Justin, we're going to talk about the weather in a minute, but we actually got a developing story because behind us, there's another fallen tree across the street here. We're by the fountain area, Kapilani Park. You may recall I told you at the 4 o'clock hour cut in that there was two ground hornbills. Those are birds, and we might even be able to, uh, Rob DeMello's my camera, if you could see that bird right there. Uh, walking on the tree. I don't know if you can see it in the shot, but there's about 10 people from the zoo with large nets. Two of these birds escaped. They did catch one. The enclosure at the zoo got damaged when a tree branch fell on top of it, and that's been really the story. Walking around Waikiki and Kapilani Park, you go down Kalakaua Avenue, and there is just rubbish littering the street. I'm going to have Rob swing around just real quickly to show you this giant tree behind us, because this is about a 70-foot Kaavi tree. Look at the size of that root ball. That's got to be about 12 to 15 feet tall, and it's not a very deep root ball, so that gives you the idea that these trees, a lot of them are probably very precarious. Uh, planted into the ground, and there's not much really holding them back. But uh, if we can go back the other way, there's that bird. In fact, Rob, uh, if you can get it right there, zoomed in, that bird's just sitting up there, the black bird with the red neck. These folks from the zoo have been out here for a while trying to chase it down with nets. Now, it's called a ground hornbill. They do spend a lot of time on the ground, but there it is. Now it's flying and it's moving around. And uh, <laughs> kind of a breaking bird news uh, that we didn't expect to see when we came down here. But about 10 minutes ago, all these folks from the zoo started coming around. And they were looking for that bird. And now we have eyes on one right there. And there you see it kind of perched perfectly right up there on that tree. And now it's flying again. So it's been going back and forth across the street. And there it is. Well, nobody's got a better view of it than us right now. So this is one of the two ground hornbill birds that escaped from its enclosure at the Honolulu Zoo, and now all the zookeepers are going to come running back across the street with nets in hand. Um, as much as they're excited, I'm sure the bird is too, and it's been in a cage for uh, I don't know how long. I'm going to try to find out that information, but at some point, you see a bird like this out in the wild, maybe it seems like a great idea at first, but uh, obviously the elements, uh, a lack of food, <laughs> They're not normal birds to be hanging out around here in the Hawaiian Islands. They're kind of native to other areas. And so uh, we'll continue to keep an eye on this. One other thing I want to point out, this giant tree here, you could see some lights that were on it. There was actually a picnic table directly below this tree. Uh, fortunately, nobody was sitting on the table, uh, we assume, when this tree came down. But once again, uh, all the folks from the Honolulu Zoo with giant nets in hand. Right now, the big story here at Kapilani Park is trying to chase down this ground hornbill, one of two, that is uh, right now free from the Honolulu Zoo. We'll continue to keep an eye out on this and let you know what happens at the top of the hour at 6. But for now, we're going to send it back to you guys in studio.